Hey all my brother and sister finishers out there, I want to do a cool video on a turbine gun review. Um, a few different Fuji guns. I've seen this one on their website. This is not that great of a gun. It will get the job done. It doesn't hold enough product. Um, the cool thing is, is this cup will move back and forth. So if you wanted to shoot up like this to do a ceiling, then you could flip your cup around and have it so that it's in permanent gravity feed and you move. It'll move back and forth like that. Um, it's hard to find, if you want to put a bigger tip or smaller tip on it, it's hard to find tips. I found that with it. Not bad. I can do spot repairs with this. You know, I did, uh, I did this countertop job. I cleared it with it. So I put the prime on it and then I cleared it. And then I used my T-model for my multi-spec. So I give this about a 6 out of 10. This is the Fuji T model. This is a nice gun. This is like the quality of the gun is comparable to like the Apollo, Apollo 7700 and uh, you know, all your top of the line turbine guns. It's a pretty decent gun. I would probably put this as about a nine out of 10. What's really cool is you can get these different tips. You can get a one, you can get a 1.8, 1.3. I think they have a 0.8. Um, this is for a different gun, but I just have it in the case here. But very, very cool um, for spraying multi-spec 2.5 in it. It's just perfect. If you wanted to use it for refinishing, I would probably use a 1.3 in it. 1.3. There's a 1.3. That is definitely not the 1.3 tip. That looks like the 1.3 tip. And there's needles in there too. So on the T-Model Fuji pretty decent gun if you're like if if this is the gun you can get and it's you know close in your area or you know it's it's the you know most affordable one you could find out of you know a bunch of different guns then i would definitely go with this gun it's on comparison here's a lemmer this one i would put this as about a four to ten you can get it done well i put it about like this this one actually sprays better. The Fuji sprays better than this. I am not very happy with this one. So it's sitting on the shelf. But as far as durability, quality of build, the way it feels, feels nice and balanced. You've got a nice fan pattern here. The only, the only complaint I would have with the fan pattern is it can go actually too wide. And then your coating in the middle is too skinny. So you've kind of got to bring it down on the small side so it's nice and even, but you, you can get a nice, nice job out of this gun, you know? So that's my review between the two different Fuji guns. There we have it. So if you got to pick out of the two, go with this one. It's way more versatile. You can get a couple of different tips for it nice and easy. You could do uh, any type of polyurethane spraying with it. If you're doing bathtub and in tile reglazing, you put a 1.3 in it, you'll get an awesome, beautiful finish with it. And if you're doing a shoot multi-spec, put a 2.5 in it, she sprays awesome. Another thing is they've got numbers on the back of this, and this is like, this, this is like the same quality as the Apollo 7700, it, very high quality. Like the, the machining of it is very, very fine. It, it's, it's nice, you know, it's, it's, it's almost right like this is it you know how it was like completely flat here there there's your needle all the way in if you want to spray like that and then you know do like two turns out or turn in a quarter out or however you're spraying your, your prime i've got different videos on, on that but that's my review of these two different spray guns go with this guy i like this guy i spray with a different gun all the time but i've used this one in the field for a few months and i'd say this one this one's a I give this one a thumbs up. So if you had to go with any of them between the two, go with this guy. You'll be happy with it. All right. Goodbye.